Hey everyone, it's Dan and Mike, and we're here with the Beer Draft, where we try to sample all kinds of beers from around the United States and the world. So what are we going to be drinking today, Dan? All right, so this one I'm really excited about. Uh, this is another one from Stone. Okay. We've reviewed uh, at least one from Stone so far. Yeah. So this one is their Mocha IPA. Oh, okay. Excellent. So I first learned about this last week. I saw their um, Instagram or tweet about it. And I was like, I need to try it because I like the mochas, I like the stouts, and sure. that mixed with an IPA sounds really interesting. Yeah, I think that is unique because, like you said, the stout is where you typically see that coffee, maybe a porter, right. yeah. not in an IPA. So that should be interesting. Yep. So as soon as I learned about it, I called the local beer store, Grape and Gourmet, and they had some in stock. So Excellent. Like, picked it up that day. Great. So let's check it out. Let's get in there. So this is a double IPA. So well, you know I'm an IPA guy. It's a... Uh, 9% ABV, so it's pretty wow. strong. Wow. <laughs> that is going to be a fun one to drink. So I'm guessing we're probably going to be smelling some coffee flavors. You said it was brewed with coffee? Um, I'm not or sure. Or flavor added later? I'm not quite sure how they got it in the coffee flavor. I think it probably was brewed with coffee. Okay. And it's got a cool cap too, so it's in honor of their 20th anniversary. Oh, now. excellent! We'll make sure to put a picture of that in the video for you. I think they really neat. They first brewed this mocha IPA for their second anniversary. Okay. And now they came out with it again. Kind of became one of their standards. So um, I don't know if it's a standard. But it's, it's another special limited release okay. type of thing. So let's check this out. It looks looks like a double IPA. It's kind of it a does. rich. It's got that rich burnished color. color. Mm -hmm. Slightly hazy. Yep, a little bit of haze, some good bubbling there. All right, so let's see what it smells like. Definitely smell oh, the hops. Oh, yeah, the hops <laughs> right up front. But I think in the background, you can kind of get a sense of the uh, coffee or chocolate. It's very, mm -hmm. very subtle smelling. It is. Uh, what I'm definitely smelling is the hops and the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Like, if you really get your nose in there, you can smell that alcohol. Well, it smells good, though. I, the, the way that Stones do their IPAs, I think, is really good. Just the smell of it is so yeah. crisp and clean. It yeah. smells really good. So you ready to taste it? Yeah, let's do All it. Right. <coughs> Bubble hit me. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting the coffee now. It's definitely there in the aftertaste. You can, you know, you taste the bitterness of the hops, but in the very end, you get that final dry bitterness that you get with a coffee. So yeah, I'm really definitely subtle. tasting it. And I think, yeah, the more mm. that it lingers, the more that I taste that coffee. Yeah, it's not really an upfront flavor, but it's kind of lingering in the background. Um, and you can taste a little bit of the chocolate that you would get with a mocha. Um, like I saw on the front, it said it was brewed with uh, cacao and coffee, so okay. definitely coming together to make that mocha flavor. I think it's good. It's got a nice creamy feel to it. Yeah. A little bit of carbonation. It's good. I like it, yeah. 9% though, I mean, that's, that's, that's a pretty strong. pretty strong beer. Um, it would be nice if there was maybe more of a session style for this beer. Like I've seen, the uh, Stone does have a session IPA that's about 4.4%, mm -hmm. which is nice, so... Um, I'd like to see that with here. Although I don't know that coffee and IPA, it's I'm not sure. It's definitely a strange combination. It's unique. I'll give it that. And you would think, you know, the bitterness of hops, the bitterness of coffee, the bitterness of chocolate, all kind of coalescing together would make for a unique taste. And, and it definitely does. But it's interesting because that sip I just took, I got the coffee or chocolate right up front. Yeah. And then the hops afterwards. Mm hmm. And then the more that it lingers, you get kind of the coffee taste. Yeah. So it's, it's really complex tasting. It's, it's very interesting. It is. It is. So but, what do you think? Uh, are you going to pick that up again? Um, I might get one more bottle just yeah. to try it out, just to let it linger to see what it feels like after the whole bottle. But man. I think it'd be really interesting to try pairing this with something. Um, you know, it could, it could go well with uh, a steak or something like that. Uh, something rich. Yeah, exactly. With a lot of flavor. Um, you know, for me, Stone has so much to try. Yeah. I'm not sure that this will be one that I'll be picking up again, but um, I definitely appreciate the fact that they're trying new things. Yeah, that's good. So if you've had this beer out there, make sure you let us know about it in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. 
and then hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all the videos that we'll be producing in the future. Like I said, Stone, they've got a ton of beer. Yeah. I'm sure this won't be the last Stone that we try. Right. So until next time, we'll see you later. All right, see you.